It was at this point they knew we were going camping. Right, so we're on another camping trip. It's been a minute since we've been on a camping trip, so this is pretty special. And um, a bit last minute, but I do actually know where we're going this time. I know a lot of the time I say I don't know where we can, but I actually booked this one. So we're taking a little trip down to Devon, uh, Ilf, uh, Ilfacoom, and uh, fill you in on the campsite when we get there, because I've forgotten the name of it. Um, very last minute, as I say, just, um, sort of booked it a couple of nights ago so yeah it'd be nice to get about four nights away in the van with the kids um, all in the back watching something already we haven't even set off yet but we're about to set off and the sun's out blue skies it's good so yes we are Fred yeah sorry uh, so yeah let's get on the road slightly predictable on these trips because we just stopped off at Atwell's camping for the traditional gas stop off and another airbag um, so yeah I think every time I film one of these uh, camping vacations we seem to be stopping at the camp shop on route but anyway we're gonna have a bit of a sandwich now and um, get back on the road but yeah just thought I'd share that funny story uh, true story we need some more gas Anyway. Hold it properly. Are
So we've just arrived and found our pitch. Uh, got a nice sunny pitch. It's lovely. It's I want been snacking most of that. the way. We've got to get the tent set up now. A um, bit of a slope on the pitch, but um, having the air ride, we've jacked up the back and uh, dropped the front so we can get a bit more level. We're only actually here for four days, but we've got about four months worth of stuff, as always. Uh, so yeah, we're going to get this tent put up and then we can get some food organised, because it's about, what time is it now? It's 4.30. 4.30? It's about 4.30 in the evening, so <laughs> could do with having the barbecue going by six. I have my sword over there. It's really cool. Oh, maybe seven. <laughs> no, I'd be going by R5. That's pretty much the tent up, and uh, my wife is just putting the carpet down in there. For those that don't know, I do get asked this quite a lot, but this is a short stay sort of setup. So, if we're doing a week or less, we'll take this tent. We've got a bigger tent, and we take that if we're going for more than a week, which is not does not attach to the tent to the van. But um, because there's five of us, we we never went pop top, two up, two down with the van. It's just never going to work. So we sleep in this, uh, in this awning. And uh, believe it or not, we party in this bit. We've got the fridge and the table, um, <clears throat> entertainment, electricity, it's all in there. Good thing is though, when we pack up in the morning, we can just unhook and drive off. You can go put the beds away and all that kind of stuff. So every cloud and that. But I thought if there was four of us, I probably would have had the pop top. Still wouldn't mind a pop top, but I don't think we can get one. Anyway, it's about 5.25 now, so there wasn't bad timing. We need to get some dinner on, so I'm gonna get out and uh, get barbecue up. Morning. So it's the next day here. Um, last night, after getting everything set up, we had a little barbecue. And, um, <clears throat> the sun was shining, so kids played a little bit of ball and stuff. And well, before the sun dropped behind those trees over there, and then we ended up watching Fast and Furious Five. Uh, Few drinks before calling at night. Woken up today, the sun has not come through those clouds. It's pretty cloudy out there today, but it's not raining. Um, and we're just um, going to knock up a little bit of a bacon bap or something before we head on to. And the wife's got somewhere in mind, about 15 miles from where we're staying. So um, the campsite that we're staying at is called Stoford Village. one of the Royal Resorts, resorts. Um, it's quite a big site to be fair, it's um, probably uh, not, not my wife's favourite kind of place because it's too big but there's a lot for the kids to do and stuff so as the week goes on uh, we'll delve in a bit more and see what else there is on, the, we haven't even had an actual look round yet but um, toilets are really good, they're big, plenty of them, clean 
which is always a big plus when it comes to this camping. Um, van is a little bit disorganised because there's stuff everywhere, uh, so I'll figure that out today. Um, but yeah, just getting some brekkie on it. We are going to go and head out to wherever it is and a spotted on the map that we want to go and see. So catch you in a minute. One of them over here got crept back into bed. Look, what are you doing? Having fun playing on his Nintendo or Lester. Hi, so we're in Lynmouth. We've just been doing a bit of climbing as you saw. And there's a few nice drone shots. Very, very, very picturesque place this. We're just set about to head round this side now and go and check out the kind of rocky coastal path that this is. But um, yeah, just look at that. There they are. So if you're thinking about coming somewhere nice and uh, you enjoy this kind of thing, I can definitely put this on the list. Um, it's turned out quite nice this afternoon as well. Sun's, all the clouds gone now and the sun's coming out. So should be in for a nice barbecue for dinner too. But we're gonna head on around here now anyway and go and see what's around this side. But uh, yeah, catch up in a bit. Uh, it's very, very blue today. You'd actually think I was abroad. <laughs> and uh, we're just in Devon.
Well, that's Linworth done. Back at the van now. Quick drink and we're going to get back to the campsite. Because <clears throat> it's barbecue time. What's going to be on the barbecue tonight? There's some steaks. Steak. There's some salt and pepper pork. Salt and pepper pork. There are some chipolatas, but I've got no hot dog rolls. Some chipolatas, but we, we got no... You heard what she said. Uh, so yeah, it's barbecue time. It's about five-ish in the evening, so about half an hour, 20 minutes from where, we, where we're staying. So we head back now. I'm going to get that fired up. Some came out nice, as I said earlier. So one last look down there. That's Limbus. guys it's a new day here um, we had a nice barbecue last night some roast pork and uh, watched a bit, a bit of television a couple of drinks and a steady early night anyway woke up this morning blue skies bliss so we've had a bit of brunch because it's actually we've, we've not really been moving too quickly yet today and um, just getting washed up I'm gonna go and take a shower and then we're gonna get down to one of the beaches so we're thinking of heading to um, Woolacoon Beach I think today or one of the smaller ones just before it but uh, yeah just need to go and get a quick shower and we'll get on the way but yeah it is a nice start to the day <laughs>
Not bad for a back end view. That's Woolacombe. Woolacombe Bay. Woolacombe Beach. Woolacombe Sea. There's Anna. Esther. Well done. So. So we just managed to get parked up here on this bit of a tight bit of road. Uh, just grabbing the snacks, the beach snacks, and we're going to get down there. Um, won't be able to take cameras on the beach because I didn't bring many cameras this time. I'm literally filming everything on this Sony ZV-1 and a, a mobile phone so it'd be interesting to hear what your thoughts are of the quality of the video but everything's been filmed so far completely on a ZV-1 and a, a mobile telephone just an iPhone so um, the R6 is at home GoPro's got no memory cards here so uh, oh there is a bit of drone footage as well so there has been some drone footage but I did bring the drone but we're gonna grab some snacks now and go and enjoy a day on the beach <laughs> Oh, I'm pulling my trousers down. <laughs> Kids. So this is us, parked on this uh, tight street. Beaches over there, as I say, it's pretty windy as you can, I don't know how good the audio is coming out, but there's another uh, T6 next to us. There, a silver one. When you come back to your van, you never know, you might just have been parked next to the infamous YouTube van. <laughs> Anyway, um, yeah, time to down cameras. We're going to go and have some fun on the beach, so we'll catch you in a bit. We'll let you know what kind of dramas the children got into. See you in a bit. Well, we're back from the beach. Just got back to the car. And uh, it's very nice. Just send the drone out now, so I'll just have a look at this. Just see some of that golden sun. <laughs> get back on the road and uh, go and find somewhere to grab a table and some food today rather than get that barbecue going. I think everybody's a bit whacked out after the seaside so uh, yeah let's go and have something cooked for us. Anyway. Big place is full. Okay. You know that big red place on the corner should drive in. Yeah. Within there before that's full. Okay. So I don't know. There's the two pubs in Morto. Yeah. Bye bye view. We'll see you tomorrow, maybe. What do you think? Just been to the beach, yeah. On my toes. These. Yeah, you all look a bit uh, scrappy for a rest. Scrappy and tired. <laughs> Not a restaurant. <laughs> Not a restaurant, mummy. There's those two pubs up at you know up the hill as you drive through that little old bit. Mm. We'll try the two pubs as you drive as you. Right. Morning. Next day here. We just had a bit of uh, brunch, I guess you could call it again. Um, a bit lazy getting off these campsites, to be honest, but what's the rush? Beautiful day again. As you can see behind me, the sky is absolutely blue, not a cloud in it. So uh, I think we're just into June now. So that's nice. So with that being said, I think we're going to head to another beach, the same beach, part a different part of the beach. I'm not really sure. It's up to the boss. Um, I'm just the driver. She doesn't like driving it uh, the van on these country roads. I know I get a lot of stick because when a lot of you uh, subscribers watch these videos and see Anna driving the van, you get a bit excited that your other house wants to drive the van. Let them drive it. Just chill in the, in the passenger seat. It's all good. She drives it better than I do. <laughs> anyway, um, 
I'm sure there'll be some comments on that, but yeah. She doesn't like driving it down here though, because it is pretty, every bend you turn, you've got to pull in somewhere. Rocks, trees, mirrors folding in, it's all that stuff, but it's worth it because some of these spots are spectacular and um, it's hard to believe that it's in the same country we live in, but it is. So today's destination is most certainly going to be Woolakim, I think. Um, just possibly a different section of the beach as to what we went on yesterday, just pent, just based on this weather. So uh, that's where we're heading. We might get some shots and some B-roll of the way down there, but um, again, because didn't bring the GoPro this time, can't take anything on the beach because it's just a bad idea. So yeah, let's get on the road, get to get unhooked from the driveway, and uh, get down to one of these lovely beaches. Hopefully fix a nice coffee when we get down there too, because coffee's nice down in Wollongong. Little place, I'll, I'll see if I can, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but if I do, I'll uh, pinch it in the video later. Beach completed. We were uh, just we just left now. Just got through the little narrow, windy roads without any new scratches. And uh, yeah, another warm one today. Everybody's washed out, hot. Um, and uh, still, we're not done with the tight bits yet. Uh, yeah, so everybody's caught the sun again today because it's been a, I don't think there's been a cloud in the sky all day uh, considering it's very early June now. That's pretty good. I'm happy with that, aren't we? Yep. Yeah. So we're now uh, heading back to the campsite to get cleaned up and stuff. And then what's the plan to that? Stay on the barbie. Stay <coughs> on the barbie. We're going to do crazy crazy golf. Yes, it's our last day. We were supposed to get ice cream but mum didn't yeah. bother to go In across. Yeah. Across with mummy because she bumped, she said that they could have ice cream and they walked around there and, and she was so lazy she didn't. It was shut. One. It was shut when they got there. It, so no, there was grumpy. another one but you were too lazy to look at it. Someone woke up with an attitude. Yeah, they did, Lester. Uh, sure we don't want to test out this big place up here and see get them to cook for us? Sure you don't want to look at it? Okay. Yeah, so, driving back uh, to go and get some dinner. Everyone's coming this way today, aren't they? Yep. Hang on a second. Uh, the lane's pretty tight down, in, down this neck of the woods, but you already knew that. <laughs> we wouldn't be here otherwise. <laughs> what? I said we wouldn't be here otherwise. What, in this lane? You know lane? how I like the tight lane? Yeah. Yeah, she does like to go to places that are always hard to reach. Because <laughs> the places that are always hard to reach are always very nice. Yes, hell, of a lot, hell of a lot of dubbers down here. Um, you're the dot. You know, um, I think no, that the wave the that's seen down here probably dies off a bit because there's so many of them people really get fed up. Um, it's probably just the visitors that wave but the locals um, they don't seem to wave. Yeah back where we live everybody waves don't they? Um, but yeah down here probably 50% of people do. Um, 
I don't tend to instigate the wave, but I will always wave back. Oh, what? you are Wait. a wave instigator. <laughs> All right, maybe I am, but Anna doesn't yeah, wave. She doesn't even see a wave in action. <laughs> no, I don't wave at strangers. <laughs> yeah, I forget sometimes when I'm in the other car and accidentally think, hello, oh, no. But, Swear mm. Anyway, enough waffle, we're heading back to the campsite, so Thank we'll you. see you back there for the traditional the barbecue. Course. Fred, what did you win? Of amazing yes. Now that's a breath of fresh air, Wick. I won this. Do you want to know what I won? Why did you win it, Fred? What did you win it for? I won burnt feet. The macarena. Macarena. I won. I did right now. The biggest feet contest. 72 hour anti perspirant plus motion scent. Mum, do you think I'm going to have a macarena hat? Still fresh. Still dry. Mum, do you think I'm gonna have big feet when I'm older? Upgrade to show sure. 72 hour non stop protection. It's that big. She's <coughs> iconic mineral 89 serum. My first so big. Look. Well, that's it for this trip. That's the last, it's the last night. Kids just had a bit of a boogie down in the hall there. It's, uh, it's got some laughs. Uh, Fred won a uh, neon armband thing for the best macarena. Anyway. Um, it's going to be a wrap for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. And like and share the video. It really helps the channel grow. We're going to finish up with a couple of drinks and some snacks. So from me and all of us, say cheerio boys. Cheers. Cheers. That's us. See you soon.